हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू अगेन इन दिस क्लास इन कंटिन्यूएशन वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ योर टेक्स्ट बुक साइंस वॉयज क्लास एट चैप्टर फोर्स एंड प्रेशर एक्सरसाइज डिस्कशन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर एंड इन दिस पार्ट we will discuss from question number 5 to question number 9 so as you can see question number 5 why does an inflated balloon burst even with a small prick of a pin so students this is because in an inflated balloon the pressure of air inside the balloon is more than the outer atmospheric pressure with a small prick of pin the air inside the balloon tends to move out with great pressure due to this pressure the hole made by the hole made by the pin expands which results into bursting of balloon so students this was the answer of question number 5 in short we can understand that the pressure of the great pressure of air moving through the hole made by pin it makes the balloon burst as you can see in the answer now question number 6 describe in brief the composition of the air composition of the air you have to describe in question number 6 so as you can see the answer the composition of air air is a mixture of gases consisting of approximately 78% nitrogen 21% oxygen and the rest 1% is a combination of gases like argon carbon dioxide water vapor helium etc so students this was the answer of question number 6 now you can see the question number 7 why do iron fillings get stuck to a magnet so students as you can see iron fillings get stuck to a magnet because a magnet exerts a force of attraction on the magnetic materials like iron so students this was a very easy question and its answer now see question number 8 describe in brief the working of an a spring balance students you can see the answer a spring balance works on the principle of hooke's law of elasticity hooke's law of elasticity which states that within the elastic limit stress is directly proportional to the strain so the spring stretches when a weight is suspended from its hook this results into downward movement of the pointer along the graduated scale the pointer which is attached with the spring and a spring is stretched a spring is stretched by the weight of mass hanged with its hook and this stretching is shown with the help of pointer on the scale so students this was the answer of question number 8 now you can see what causes nose bleeding at higher altitudes students as you can see the answer near the earth surface the blood pressure inside our body balances the outer atmospheric pressure but as we go higher the atmospheric pressure decreases but the body pressure the blood pressure the blood pressure inside our body remains unchanged and becomes higher than the decreased atmospheric pressure this extra blood pressure this excess of blood pressure results into bursting of our delicate uh, vessels delicate blood vessels inside our nose and uh, this results into bleeding at higher altitudes as you can see in the answer so students these were the discussion about 
question and their answers of short answer questions i have completed today and from next class we will discuss about long answer so till then